Hi guys, my name is Akuridi Adinike. You are welcome to my channel. In this tutorial today, I would like to teach you how to cut and sew this beautiful dress showing on the screen. As you can see, it's two parts. I have net here for the yoke part while I have this fabric for the down part of it. So I'm going to start my cutting from the yoke, which is the upper part of it. So this net is now up to one yard. So I'll go ahead by folding my net fabric into two like this because I'm cutting the front part first. So to know the amount of fabric folding for that, I'm using my bust circumference. My bust circumference is 36 inches divided by 4 give me 9 inches. Since this net is a little bit stretchy, I'll just add 1 inch to it. That is 10 inches. So I'm going to measure out 10 inches now. To be on the silver side, I will just measure 11 inches out. So to know the length I'm using for my yoke, I'm going to use half of my round ham hole for that. My round ham hole is 16 inches divided by 2, that will give me 8 inches. I will just add 2 inches to it for seam allowance, that will give me 10 inches which is here now. So this is what I need for the front, uh, front part of my yoke. I'll just cut it out. So this is for the front part of my yoke. I'll just put it aside and fold another net fabric for my back part. Place this one on it. If you are a beginner, you can use pin to hold it down before cutting to avoid it from shaking. So I've just cut it out now. Since my net is a little bit stretchy, I don't need to add any zip allowance to it. So I'll just leave it like this and continue with my measurement. So after measuring all I need for the yoke, I'm going to measure half inch on the top here for my starting point. From my center front and center back here, I'm going to place my half of my shoulder measurement on my shoulder line because this is my shoulder line. My shoulder measurement is 15 inches divided by 2, that is 7.5 inches plus half inch is, I mean plus half inch seam allowance. You may not even add it because this net is a little bit stretchy, but to be on the silver side, that, that is why I added that half inch to it. So I'm going to measure from here now from this line. I'm measuring out half of my round ham hole, which is 8 inches plus 1 inch shoulder slope. That is 9 inches, which is here now. On this line, I'm going to input half of my shoulder measurement, which is 7.5 plus half inch. is 8 inches. I'll just connect it straight. If you are a beginner, please use your ruler for that. Well, here now I'm going to measure one inch for my shoulder slope, which is here. From the center front and center back here, I'm going to input my neck width, which is 3.5 inches. I'll just connect it like this. So now this is my shoulder slope. Hope you can see what I'm doing. So what I'll just do now is to place the cuff side of my ruler for me to create my armhole cuff, just like this. So that's it. That's my neck width. Neck width for the front part is going to be four inches or 4.5 inches. I don't want my neck to be too wide and I'm going to connect just like this. This is my front neckline. As for the back neckline, I'll just measure two inches downward since I'm not adding zipper to it. So here's my neckline for the back part and here's my neckline for the front part. I'll go ahead and cut it out now. I'm cutting the back part first. I'll just remove my back parts and complete the cutting of my front part. Move on to the back, I mean to the down part. Here's the fabric for the down part. To know the amount of fabric folding for that, 
I'm going to deduct my yoke length from the full length of my dress. The full length of my dress is, that, is 58 inches. If I deduct, you know, I have 8 inches for the length of my yoke. So I'm going to deduct that 8 inches from the full length of my dress, which is 58 inches. The remaining one will give me 50 inches. So the length of my down part will be 50 inches, while the width of my down part will be the circumference of my hip. My hip is 38 inches divided by 4. I'm going to divide it by 4 because I'm folding the down part into 4 before I cut it out. So if I deduct, I mean, if I divide my hip into 4, my hip is 38 inches. If I divide it by 4, that will give me 9.5 inches. I'm going to add extra 2 inches to it, 1 inch for his and 1 inch for seam allowance to, to hip because the dress I'm making does not have zipper. So I'll easily fold it out now for you guys to see. Now I'm done folding fabric for the down part as you can see. So like I said, I have here 9.5 plus 2 inches, that is 11.5 inches here folded into two. Here is the front part and here is the back part. I'm cutting the same thing for both front and back. So because the dress I'm making does not have zipper. So I'll go ahead now, before I shape it out at all, I'll go ahead and join my upper part, which is the yoke part, to hit one by one. Just pick it and join it. Let me show you what I mean. So I'll join it first before I shape it out a little bit. It's a free dress, but I'll just shape it a little bit to make it look a little bit sexier. So what I'll just do is to open it up and take one out of the yoke here since the down part is the same thing both front and back so I'll just let the right side of the net face the right side of this fabric which is for the down part I'll let it face it like this and stitch with half inch just like this I'm going to stitch with half inch I'm doing the same thing on the second part of it so the remaining net here, I'll just cut it out for my sleeve. If you look at the dress very well, the sleeve is three quarter sleeve. I'll just fold it and cut it out. I have a video on how to draft basic sleeve. You can use it for it. Long sleeve and short sleeve. I'm going to put the link in the box below for you guys to know how to draft it out. All, what is different from it is just the length. So you have to choose the length you want for your sleeve. You can use long sleeve, you can use three quarter sleeve, you can use short sleeve. Depends on your choice. So I'll go ahead and fold it and cut it out off camera and come and show you how to shape this one as well. Now I'm done joining my yoke as you can see. So here's the, here's the front part and here is the back part. So what I'll just do now is to shape it a little bit on the waist line. Now from the shoulder here, I'm going to measure this is the half inch for my shoulder joining. So from that line, I'm going to measure my waistline, which is 17 inches, which is here now. So on my waistline, here is my waistline now. On my waistline, I'm going to impute quarter of my waist there. My waist is 32 inches divided by 4 will give me 8 inches. I'm going to add 1 inch for seam allowance and 1 inch for ease to heat, making 10 inches. So this is where the 10 inches is now. So I'll just connect from the hand piece here, just like this. And from my shoulder to my hip line is 24 inches, which is here. All I'm doing is to just create little shape on the waist line. So here's my hip line. So on my hip line, I'm going to input quarter of my hip there. My hip is 38 inches divided by 4 will give me 9.5 inches. I'm adding 1 inch for his and 1 inch for seam allowance. So I'll just connect it like this. After that, I'm going to cut it out. So I'll go ahead and cut it now. So after cutting, this is what I have. I'll just open it up like this. Place it on each other for me to join the two shoulders. 
just let the right side face each other. So I'm going to join the two shoulders with half inch and join the both side too with what I had it for it. So I'm done joining as you can see. So look how neat and beautiful it is. So I'll go ahead and turn it to the right side for me to hem the neckline. Or better still, you can use bias tape to hem it. I'll just turn it to the right side now. So I'm going to fold it once and hem it round. Just fold it once and hem it round. Now I'm going to move on to my sleeve. These are my two sleeves. What I'm going to do now is to just separate it like this and here is the right, here is the wrong side of it. I'll just fold it once since it's a net. I'm going to fold it once and hem it at the bottom. After hemming at the bottom, I'm going to turn it to the right side. Fold it like this for me to stitch the side seam. I'm doing the same thing on the second sleeve. Now I'm done hemming the neckline as you can see it's very nice and beautiful. And these are my sleeves. I'm done with the sleeves too. As you can see. So let me just turn one into the right side for you to see how neat and beautiful it is. Here is it now. So I will just go ahead and fix my sleeves to the body. This one will be for this side and the second one will be for the other side. Just like this. So after fixing my sleeves, I'm moving on to my slits and the bottom so i'm going to double fold my bottom like this and hem it the bottom of my dress after hemming the bottom of my dress i'm moving on to the sides both sides double fold it and hem just like this from here to the other side i'm doing the same thing on the second part of the slit so after doing all that I'll come and show you the finishing look of it. I'm going to give it a good press and show you the finishing look of it. Here is the finishing look of it, guys. If you want your own dress to be touching ground like it is shown on the picture, you can. all you have to do is to just add one, 2 to 4 inches to your own normal length. If you want it to be like my own, just deduct 2 to 4 inches from your full length which is the normal length so guys if you find my tutorial helpful please give me a thumbs up subscribe to my channel to support my channel if you have any question pertaining to cutting and sewing you can join me on my facebook group details to sewing created by akuride adenike i'm on twitter and instagram at akuride adenike please show some love by liking and following my page on facebook at akuride adenike sewing tutorial till i see you in my next video guys stay safe stay blessed